Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened STR Perfect Cell on the global side of the game. And at the same time, attempt to answer the question of whether or not this guy is the superior EZA Perfect Cell over, of course, the Tech Perfect Cell. Now, first things first. I want to quickly talk about his details so for anybody that already knows what he does then feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute minute and a half and we'll get into the gameplay all right so starting with his stats overall they're very good we have seen some higher stats from other dokkan fest eza units like the tech cell and the fizz goku black i believe both of those guys have over 18,000 attack at rainbow status so this guy's a little bit lower at 16.7k but still that's very respectable. And his leader skill is STR type ski plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. His super attacks are pretty interesting. And I did say super attacks because he has two of them. The 10 and, and uh, 11 key, no sorry, the 10 and 12 key are both solar kamehameha which raise attack and defense and cause immense damage. While the 11 key is self-destruct and that also raises attack and defense but causes supreme damage to all enemies and heals you for 10% HP. So of course that's really good for Super Battle Road and also uh, World Tournament, basically any event that has multiple enemies, right? And moving on to his passive, it's attack plus 100% and defense plus 50% at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with six or more key spheres obtained. All enemies attack and defense minus 20% at the start of the turn when facing two or more enemies. His links are Revival, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Kamehameha, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And he has eight categories at the moment. More to come in the future, I'm sure. But right now, it's Resurrected Warriors, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Kamehameha, Androids, Time Travelers, Androids slash Cell Saga, and Full Power. So that's everything you need to know about this guy. Now let's jump into the gameplay and see what he can do. So before we give him any orbs, he currently has 83,166 defense, which is not too bad. And then we give him, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, ooh, six orbs. So he does get the extra 30% attack and defense. We're also gonna link him with the cell right here. So he now has 95,046 defense. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. We actually get the full 24 key super with the Fizz cell as well, which is pretty exciting. So let's see what this guy can do. Okay, 1.9 mil. Close to 2 mil for his first attack. Keep in mind, he does stack every single time he supers. And you can compare that to my 2 dupe Fizz LR cell, who got 2.5 mil. So only about half a mil less than a full 24 key super from the Fizz LR cell with two dupes. Now you can argue that maybe Fizz cell isn't the best LR out there and I, I would tend to agree he's not like, you know, at least from a damage perspective, he doesn't hit super hard. He is good in other ways like his AOE um, ability and also the fact that he heals and stuff like that. But I do admit that Fizz LR cell is definitely not one of the best summonable LRs out there. But that being said, compared to that summonable LR right there, um, the STR EZA Perfect Cells attack stat was pretty impressive and we didn't have any supports on rotation. We hadn't stacked any attack or defense, or I mean, the defense doesn't really matter there, but we hadn't stacked any attack yet, right, before we launched that super. So over time, especially for these longer events like the Legendary Goku event, and uh, Infinite Dragon Ball history and any other events in the future that come out that are similar, right? That uh, allow you to stack for a long time. Uh, he's gonna be really good for those types of events. So next time, basically every time he comes back, we'll check the stats, see what it looks like, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so now we currently have 99,200 or 799 defense, so almost 100,000 defense. Can we still give him nine orbs, if the, or sorry, six orbs? Um, maybe if we take these away, we can get the, oh, we can't, okay. So we won't get the extra orbs this time. So we're not getting that extra 30% attack and defense. So numbers here should be a little bit lower. We are getting supered as well, taking 103K. That hurts a little bit, not gonna lie. That did hurt a little bit, but it's okay. 
It's okay, we're still alive. We do have a few items that we need, but obviously the goal for this showcase is not to survive per se, but rather to just um, showcase the unit. Okay, so over 2 million right there, right? About 2.1 mil, still no supports. And only after, after only one super, we didn't get the extra 30% because we only got two orbs that time. Not bad, man. Not bad. I'm starting to get a sense of like how this guy actually looks overall, you know what I mean? Like how he operates. And I'm starting to form an opinion about who's better as far as this guy versus the tech cell. Now I did play with him a little bit before, but I didn't really have a chance to actually like pay too much attention. Um, and now that we are doing this, like just focusing on this STR perfect cell, uh, early, early assessment, early opinions, he hits pretty hard. He definitely does hit pretty hard. Uh, now we have the support on rotation 2. And if we can get the 6 orbs, that would be perfection. Okay, so if I give him this one right here. And then we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, perfect. We got 6 orbs there. We're looking at how much defense? 116,000 defense. Already, already a very respectable uh, defensive stat. And as you can see, because we have these cells like... Healing, well, I mean, so far I think only the Fizz cell has healed, but um, all these cells have the potential to heal, right? And this team just really doesn't die, you know? Like, this team just really is very hard to kill. So we still actually might make it pretty far in this event just because we're constantly healing with these guys. Okay, so now with the support and the six orbs, we got 2.8 mil, 2.6 mil with the additional... Um, it's the 10 key, so a little bit less damage, but if you combine those two attacks, that's right there. That was over 5 million attack, guys. Exactly 5 point... Man, why is this math so hard for me? 5.3 mil, I think? Wait, 5.4? 5.4 mil. Yes? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Yo, that's sad, man. Yo, my math is so sad. I apologize. I apologize. To anybody that expected more, that, that expected me to, like... Just, you know, get that real quick. I just, mental math has never been my strong suit, man. It's never been my strong suit. In school, I've always been like pretty good at like stuff I could write out, you know, like actually like write out all the formulas and do the calculations with a calculator. But when it came to mental math, I was always pretty slow with that stuff, man. So uh, yeah, that's why I struggle a lot when it comes to like <laughs> these on the spot uh, calculations for, for numbers and stats and damage numbers and all that stuff, all right? so. Just trying to make an excuse for myself. I know I should be better. I'll work on it, but uh, this is not the time. This is not the time. Okay, getting back to the cell. Getting back to the cell. Now we have the 36% support from my girl 18. Um, I could give these to the LR cell, but why would I do that? So now we're looking at 165,000 defense. Let's give him all these orbs so we can get the extra extra 30%. So now it's 192,000 defense. And uh, the attack is going up really fast as well. Like, just, just, it's <laughs> freaking skyrocketing, guys. So I'm expecting over 3 million attack now. Let's see if I'm correct or if I'll be disappointed. We are getting supered, which could hurt quite a bit. 146k, less than I thought, actually. Over 3 million now. <laughs> over 3 million attack now. Holy crap. And we are close to death. I might actually heal up a little bit just because I want to a little bit further actually the super will heal us a little bit too so maybe we won't have to um we're around 20,000 or sorry 200,000 attack or hp getting all my stats mixed up or we're around 200,000 hp so we're still alive but another super would kill us this turn so let's actually just heal up a little bit with a princess snake there we go that would be the only item uh, as far as healing goes i will use for this run and then uh, next time, if a super is going to kill us, then we'll just die. All right, how about that? Sounds good? Sounds good to me. I just don't want to make this video too short, right? Because I still want you guys to see a little bit more of the stacking. Um, I don't expect to get to, like, UI Goku or anything like that. But let's at least get to, like, Super Saiyan God. All right, let's at least get to Super Saiyan God. Get a good sense of, like, you know, around how crazy he can get near the end of this fight. Obviously not the very end, but close to the end and maybe get him up to like 4 million attack, maybe get him up to 300,000 defense, something like that. Uh, this guy is very similar. I mean, they're, they're quite different actually, but in the sense that they're both built 
for these longer events like the legendary Goku event. He's kind of he kind of reminds me of the Fizz Broly. You know what I mean? The 70% um, lead, the Fizz Broly, like absolute trash before. This guy wasn't absolute trash, but he wasn't that good either before. And then once the EZA comes through, just like absolute craziness, man. Like <laughs> these this num these numbers, this damage is uh, just crazy. Like a way better than I expected at least. So. I think for this turn, we won't be able to get the 6 orbs, so we're just going for a standard 12 key super without the extra 30% buff. Um, still 166,000 defense though, so I mean, still very respectable. I still can respect that. We're getting supered here. Please be... Oh, 100k. Okay, that's fine. So 1.8 mil from the Fizz LR cell. And now let's see what our non-LR STR cell can do. Oh man, he had to super. You have to do additional at least. I mean, at least we're getting healed for 20% um, now. Actually, more than 20% because it's 10% on top of the 10%. Um, it's like compounded, right? Okay, so we didn't get to see much there, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Maybe just mm, maybe this cell can kill him with a Dokkan attack. If we can get it, we can't get it actually. Oh, that's good, actually, we can save the Dokkan attack for the STR cell. Alright, so my incel, that's currently uh, one dupe. I think he has one dupe in him. Let's see what he can do here. 1.6 mil, not bad. He is the right person to get super here for sure. If anybody's going to get super on Sertation, it's got to be this guy. 52k, very, very good tank, obviously. Uh, you guys already know that, though. We don't need to showcase the incel. You guys know incel is a monster tank. Damage-wise, a little bit disappointing. But you know what, that's not the right video to talk about it, because we're here to focus on the STR cell. Here to focus on the STR cell. Hero 18, putting in some work, getting a dodge, taking a lot of damage. <laughs> that's fine. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so on this rotation, we can definitely get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 orbs. We can get the Dokkan attack as well if we give this guy these orbs. And then uh, we're looking at 207,000 defense, guys. 207,000 defense. Um, let's give these to her. And let's see. We're getting supered again, but I'm expecting to, to, take, to, to tank pretty well. Okay, 118k. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Let me focus, get all these. One, two, three. Holy crap, so fast. We did get all seven, though. <laughs> we did get all seven, though. Um, over 3 million attack stat. Over 3 million attack stat. And if we get a nice crit here, I think we can actually move on to UI Goku, which doesn't often, lead, often lead, doesn't happen too often in these showcases. Uh, 4.2 mil, guys. <laughs> 4.2 mil crit. And the LR cell putting in some work too. 3.6 mil from him. Uh, damn. Okay, 1.4 mil finishing off the uh, tech god coup. And now we're on Super Saiyan Blue. Um, yeah, this is usually how far I make it in these showcases. And I think it's going to be the same for today. Like, I don't think we're going to make it past this because I'm not going to use any items. And this guy super is really hard. And we do have type disadvantage with the STR cell as well. So it could be... AO for your boy soon. Uh, actually, not here. Because once again, Incel's a great tank, so 100k maybe. 182k, damn. At least we're taking normals for double digit damage, so we're still, we're still alive for this turn. No question, still alive for this turn. I'm not sure about the next one, but I want to get one more attack. Alright, one more attack from Cell, and then we're good to go. Okay, just gonna get through these Fizz 17 supers. I love this unit, but I feel like his super attack is a little bit boring. That's just me. Um, I mean, I think we're due for another 17, actually. I think we're due for another 17, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. And this guy, I <laughs> just talked about how boring this guy super is, and he just got a super three times this rotation. Okay, thank you, 17. Very nice, very cool. Um, let's put this guy over here. We have 202,000 defense. Uh, I cannot get... You know what? I'm going to pop this item here. It's not going to give me any extra attack or anything like that. It's just I get all the orbs I need to get the extra 30%. Right there. 
235,000 defense now, so we should be able to survive a super if we have to. And there we go. All right, let's see what he can do, Cell. So tanking normals, double digit as expected. And 3.18 mil attack stat, no crit, still taking double digits. And our boy is LR Cell doing quite well. You know what, I take back, actually I don't take it back. He's, he's still not like one of the best summonable LRs out there. But that doesn't mean he's bad because even a bad or a not as good summonable LR is still one of the best units in the game, right? Okay, this is where we die. <laughs> this is where we die. It's gonna do like 300k at least. 426k. Okay, yo, yo, 18. Don't even worry about it. It's not your fault. In fact, that might be a good thing because uh, we were going a little bit long, so <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. So that's the showcase, guys. I think overall, my final opinion, my conclusion about the question I asked, I posed at the beginning of this video is that this dude is more consistent than Texel. Of course, Texel um, has a higher ceiling. He can do more damage and also tank better depending on how many orbs you give him. If you give him like 15 orbs, he's gonna do a lot more damage, right? Then this guy, this guy takes a little bit of time to actually ramp up, so he's better for longer events. So I would say it actually depends on what kind of event you're doing. Um, the tech cell, I would bring him on shorter events, like Dokkan events and stuff like that. And for this guy, I would take him on longer events, like the uh, Legendary Goku event we we're just doing, or uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, or anything like that in the future. Um, I would also say that this guy just feels more consistent, you know, because he starts out with more defense, um, even without any, you know, crazy amount of orbs. He can still get close to 2 million attack stat right off the bat, right? So I honestly would bring the STR cell in most cases, even maybe for shorter events, just because I don't have to give him as many orbs to make him effective, whereas the tech cell really needs the orbs, otherwise he's quite weak. If you give him only like two or three orbs, he does a lot less damage than this guy, and uh, there's already like multiple LRs in the androids category that are competing for orbs, right? Like the LR androids, the two LR cells, um, is that it? <laughs> Maybe that's it, but still, if you have those guys, they all need a lot of orbs, so, you know, having to still give the tech cell orbs too, it's just too many units contending for those orbs, so I would honestly go for the STR perfect cell over the tech perfect cell in most situations, unless you need a nuker for some reason, and that's my personal opinion. I do think he is better overall than the tech perfect cell, but of course the tech perfect cell still has his advantages and his uses on certain things. All right, so that is the video, guys. That is the showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. This dude is a monster. He hits stupid hard, and I uh, look forward to using him more in future events. So as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.